Now, he was the biggest pin-up of the year. No. <laughs> After viewers saw Andrew Scott's hot priest in Fleabag, the hunt was then on by all sorts of people for a real-life version. And the Reverend Christopher Lee... I mean, he's even got a cool name. Christopher Lee uh, was who they found. Good morning, Britain local vicar. His church <laughs> is near our studio, mm. has amassed nearly 120,000 Instagram followers with his 60-second sermons, and Reverend Lee joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, thank you for having me. How do you feel about people saying you're the sexy priest? Oh, I think it, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. It's, um, it's a bit of, I suppose it's a bit of fun, a bit of nonsense. I don't really take it too seriously, to be honest. There's a lot, you love it. A lot better people, a lot better looking people out there than me. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Well, you're using the kind of... Um, fun and fame that comes out of people hunting for the sexy priest from Fleabag um, to really good use, don't you? You've got a huge yeah. Instagram following and yeah. you're trying to take your message yeah. not just to the, your local kind of congregation but out mm. to everyone. Yeah, it's been, it's been a bit of a crazy journey. It's, um, over the last few years it's really grown and over the last year or so it's snowballed and I've, I suddenly found myself being asked loads of questions from all over the world, um, people following me, DMing me, direct messaging me, sharing their issues, their problems and I try and invade what can be seen as a superficial space with a kind of message of hope, with a message of love, with a message of encouragement mm. uh, for young people and it's really, yeah, it's found a place and um, I've been kind of awestruck by Mm. Um, how it's been growing. But then how do you deal with this idea, <coughs> though, that, the, that some people will say the very notion of Instagram, this whole thing about wanting yeah. followers, to be, yeah. to be famous in your own world and to be popular? How, sure. how, how do you deal with that side of it? With what you're I think doing? a lot of people on Instagram um, point to themselves and they say, look what I'm doing, look how mm. beautiful I am or look how great my life is. And I try and point people uh, to God, to Christ, to, to tell them that they're beautiful, to tell them that they're valued, that they're loved, that they're not alone. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of young people out there who, are, um, who, who do suffer. And, you know, it used to be a case that we were compared to our neighbours, you know, mm. comparing with the Johnsons next door. But now we live in a world which is kind of loud and aggressive and which basically compares you to millions of people mm. constantly around every day, every moment of every day. Mm. So um, I think that I, yeah, I try and say to people, you know, slow down, know that you're valuable and you're precious mm. and not point to myself, but point away. And do you, do you find that taking the message out in that way, going to the mm. medium that young people use, means that more young people actually come into your church? Yeah, we've seen, we've seen a growth in, mm. in our church. Um, I don't promote my church. I promote church, so I always say, you know, um, find your local church. Or uh, you, people ask me all the time, what is, what, how do I become a Christian? What do I do? And mm. I say, read Mark's gospel, say a prayer. It's about conversation with God, and then find a local church. Yeah. So one of the things that's really touched base um, on Instagram that you mentioned mm. is these sixty-second sermons mm. that people love. It's like a bite-sized chunk of thought that they can yeah. take on board. Have you got one for us? Because your GMBs. Local, please, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the taxi ride here. I'm your parish priest, guys. Yeah, yeah, we need to come We've around. We've got services come in more tonight, often. Yeah. tomorrow, more often. 10 um, Yeah, so give us your 60 second sermon. You want a 60? Yeah, you can. can. You do and that? you can do it at a camera <coughs> one just down that. Yeah. I can do 60 second sermon to you. Okay, uh, 60 second sermon with Rev Chris. Firstly, what does Christmas mean? Christmas means that you are loved. You are loved beyond your understanding, beyond all knowledge. One of the titles given to Jesus is Emmanuel, which means God with us. And sometimes when we think about God, we can think he's distant, that he's kind of some ethereal being up there somewhere in the clouds. But the truth is that Christmas speaks to us that God came to be with us, to draw near us, uh, to love us. You know, think of Mary at this time. She knew God um, as the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of the mountain who, who, who spoke to Moses. But she also knew God in her son, Jesus Christ, who was close to her. Um, and so God is both great and vast and almighty, but he is close and with you. And the message of Christmas is you are loved. Yes, we are all broken, but you are loved and you are of value. Um, Merry Christmas, bless you, you're loved. That's what? my sign off. How you lovely. You're loved. That was even less How than 60 lovely. seconds. I couldn't tell. Oh, I, 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 used to have I was like, where? Hey, darling, you're applauding. Listen, there you go. If, if life couldn't be any more perfect for you as a vicar, your birthday happens to be on Christmas Day. Yes. This is amazing. So we've got a little cake for you. Bring the cake. Oh, my oh, goodness, you guys. Oh, oh, thank, thank you very much. much. Thank there you, you go. Much. It took us 60 seconds to make that as well. Wow. <laughs>